Hello and welcome to today's training. This is day 8 of this web design course. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your website from local server to the online server. Okay, so you have designed your website on the local host. You have built all the pages. You have edited the menus and the footers, everything. Then now it's time for you to host it on the internet so that everyone can access it from anywhere in the world. So quickly, let's dive into this. So before we do this, we must have done two things. One, we must have bought a domain name and a hosting plan. And the second thing is, we must have installed WordPress on your hosting plan. All right, so I'm going to teach you this in three steps. The first thing you need to do is to install plugin. You're going to install this plugin on your local host and on your live server. The second thing is you are going to export your website from your local server. And then the third thing is to import it on your live server on the internet. All right, so I will now go ahead and show you my website on the local host. So as you can see this, this was designed offline using WordPress. So you can see all of these tools. I did them offline. It has this number of pages. So we are now going to log into our WordPress on the local host. You just type your domain name slash login and hit enter. So you wait for it to load. Also put your username and password. Then click on login. So now this is your dashboard, WordPress dashboard. So you are going to click on plugins on add. You're going to install the plugin that will help you migrate your website now. The name of the plugin is WPVV Migration. So you just type it here and then look at it here. So click on install. All right, then activate. So you are done. We can, we can simply go to auto migration, but we are going to use backup first. So that we'll back it up and then we'll store. So as you can see, it will save to local uh, computer. So now click on backup now. Wait for it to process. So as you can see, it is backing up 32% now. So now that we are done with the backup, just come down and click on download. Download. That is the size. Just as see our WordPress website is being downloaded to a local, a local computer. So, download is done. You can simply come to plugin and deactivate it or even delete it. Or if you want to use it in the future, you can leave it there to deactivate. All right. So as you can see, that's what we activated. We are now moving to our live server. So my domain name is best in K2. As you can see it here. So look at the one on the local host. So we'll now go and install plugin in our live server WordPress. So click on add new and then type the name of the plugin, which is WPDV. Migration. So click on the store line. And activate. So scroll down, click on upload. 
Then select the file. You can simply drag it and drop there. Select the file, click on open. Then click on upload. Wait for it to upload. As you can see, upload has been completed. Click on OK. So click on restore. Then click on restore again. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on OK. So it will start restoring now. The domain name on our local server is going to be replaced by the domain name on the internet. So restore completed successfully. Click on OK. And then, now you are going to use the login details on your local server. server. You're not going to use the ones on the on this domain name, bestinketo.com. You're going to use the one on your local host. I'll copy the password and put then login. So let's check our website now. Come back here and refresh. So you can now see that my local site has been uploaded. It has been migrated successfully to the online server. So that is how simple it is. So as you can see, everything is live now on my domain name, bestinketo.com. So guys, that is how to migrate your website from localhost to the online server. Thank you very much for being here. See you in our next class.